Okay, somehow I'm going to take this crate apart. I really just wanted mainly the, the two sides with the markings and some of this. Because these have some pretty cool markings on them too. So I've cut all the pieces to size that I want to use for the top here. And I had a couple other boards I had to piece some scraps in. It's going to basically look kind of like a quilt. And I'm going to fasten them to this, this other board because this is the size I want uh, the top to be. This piece of the crate, the, the side, was not quite as thick as the other pieces so I had to put some shims in to raise it up so it's all semi-even. So now I've cut some strips of wood that I'm going to use to cover up the side uh, profile here. And I'm just going to make like butt joints because like, that's what we're going for. We got all the pieces uh, fastened. I had to use the cut edge of that, of that board. It's not a big deal, I'll stain it to try and blend it in. So now I'm just kind of filling in the, uh, the few cracks where I thought the wood wasn't quite as tight together as I wanted it to be, so. If you get the pigment off the bottom of the can, you can basically paint it on like this. Uh, you can also wipe some of it off with a rag to get the look that you're going for. And I got a little bit carried away with the wood patch here, like I said I wasn't going to do. Usually if you don't stir or shake the can of stain, you can usually get the pigment off the bottom like this. Like I say, I used more wood patch than I wanted to, but the pigment covers it up pretty good. So I went with Colonial Maple to go with the original parts of the crate and just a natural brown to match the other pieces I put in there. If you guys made it this far through the video, I would like to say thank you for watching. I tried to make it as brief as possible while at the same time including as many of the details on how I put this thing together. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them, even if they're nasty. Uh, also, if you have any suggestions on maybe how you think I could have done things differently or made it better. If you like this project, please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be doing more projects like this and that in the future, so thanks again.